guys, welcome back to my channel. As you guys know, I am an Ipsy creator, so some of the products I am using to create this look are from this month's glam bag, which is so cute by the way. It's this got this little Sanrio character called Gudetama. If you haven't watched his little videos on YouTube, be sure to check them out. They're super cute. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, every morning I like to start off by washing my face, and today I am using the Tarte Cosmetics Rainforest of the Sea deep dive cleansing gel and I accidentally poured out way too much in this but um, a good dime size amount is plenty so this is just gonna help brighten and remove excess oil and impurities gets out any waterproof makeup left over and it is vegan and cruelty free which is amazing so once you are all nice and refreshed then you are all set to go and you can start prepping your skin for your makeup. So to moisturize, I am using the Caudalie Vino Source Moisturizing Sorbet. This is a total cult classic product from this brand, which is one of my favorites, and I'm going to be using another one from them later in this video, but this just helps to hydrate and help your skin become less sensitive and more resilient over time, which I love. For my primer, I am using this one from Laura Mercier, and this is also oil-free. And then the foundation that I'm using is also from them, which is brand new, called the Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. And it's like a 15 hour wear, it's lightweight, but it is full to medium, or medium to full coverage, which is great. So I am really loving this. It is oil free and it does have like a matte finish. But as you can see here, this matches my skin tone absolutely perfectly. So I am super into this foundation for sure. To fill in my brows today, I am using the Brow Gal Eyebrow Pencil in Espresso. And I've been really loving the whole feathered brow look. So this is a pencil that really helps define and build up that shape. So you can just do little strokes and it looks like hair, which is awesome. And then I'm taking the Shella Eyebrow Cream in Tantalizing Taupe. And this is just going to help, it has like a really nice, rich, velvety consistency, so it just helps fill in the gaps where you just need to make your eyebrows look a little bit more full. So when you do s different textures like that, then your brows look really full, so you've got that dimension. So I've been really loving this little routine. And then I finish off with the Glossier Boy Brow, and that just helps obviously lock them in place. So I know this is a lot of steps, but if you want your eyebrows to look really perfected, then you gotta put in the work. Next, I am going in with the Boing Airbrush Concealer from Benefit Cosmetics. And this is brand new. They just added a bunch of new concealers to the Boing family, which is incredible. So this one just helps give like a soft focus. It's a lightweight texture and I am obsessed. I love it, I love it. To set my concealer, I am using the Bella Pierre Banana Setting Powder. And this is perfect for setting under your eye and it also just helps, um, it has like a subtle yellow hue so it helps to counteract any redness or discoloration. So especially for right under your eyes there you can hide dark circles, all that good stuff. Next I am going in with the oh so coveted Kim Kardashian West Contour Stick. I love me a cream contour, so I am really impressed with the formula. I love the color. This one is in dark, but depending on the day, sometimes I'll go ahead and use medium if I want a little bit less of a dramatic look. But I was actually gifted all four of the sets, which was so dope. I got invited to her event for the launch, so I mean, I got to go to Kim and Kanye's house. Pretty awesome. If you don't follow me on Instagram, then you must, so you can see things like this. Tonight, I am going to the Kim Kardashian Beauty launch party! Okay guys, we are inside. I have the contour kit in my hands. This is it. Look at how bronzy that is. This flower room is to die for. It smells so good. Alright guys, we just left the event. It was so fun to meet everybody. On the way out, we even got to meet Kanye briefly as he was walking in. And I was like, yes! I love Kanye. I feel like he's just misunderstood. Anyone that knows me well knows I love me some misunderstood men because my dad is that way, Corey is that way, so I just, my heart goes out to people like that because I feel like Jack Kerouac said, it's the crazy ones that want to change the world and actually do. 
Okay, now back to regularly scheduled programming. If that is not enticement, though, to follow me, I mean, come on, what are you waiting for? Alright, I'll see you guys over there on that end, but let me finish out this tutorial, alright? Okay, now moving on to eyes. I am using this Ofra Cosmetics eyeshadow in Victory. I am super into their eyeshadows because they're highly pigmented, and you can also get your brush wet if you want a more intense look. But, as you guys know, I like kind of the golder, warmer tones for every day, so I just carry that underneath the bottom lash line as well. Also, be careful not to poke your eye or else you'll end up like this. <laughs> and fun fact, blinking white guy is actually the brother of one of the girls that works at the Ipsy office. I cannot believe it. I can't make this stuff up, I swear. Okay, okay, for real, we're moving on. Next, I am using the Seraphine Botanicals Ginger and Gold blush. It's really beautiful. It's got this multi-dimensional kind of rose gold feel and I think tones like that are really flattering for any skin tone. Next, add even more of a glow. I'm using the Hello Light um, highlighter from It Cosmetics, which is a collab with my sweet, sweet friend Nabella Noir. This is the highlight that she came out with with them and I am so obsessed because she is a total light in my life as well. To highlight some specific areas on the face, I like to use this brush from Bougashi. It's one of their illuminator brushes. And this just helps to get into those nooks and crannies like your brow bone. And it's perfect for your cupid's bow and your nose. For my lips, I'm using this Nude Sticks Magnetic Matte Lip Color in Rose. I absolutely love Nude Sticks, you guys. They are so amazing. They're a matte finish, long lasting and it's just really easy to apply in this pencil form. And if you guys did not know this, I am actually so honored to be a part of their Babe Boss Faves Box. So my favorite shade from them that I like to wear, but sometimes I switch it up, is called Boho. So make sure to check that out as well, and if you use the code Lynette10, then you can get 10% off. All right, to top off my lips and add a little shine, I am using the Hemp's Ultra Moisturizing Herbal Lip Balm. I love this stuff because it has shea butter, avocado oil, just helps, you know, improve dry and chapped lips. So as much as I love matte lipstick, sometimes I just need a little extra love. Next I'm using the Ico Skinny Liquid Eyeliner and it's travel size and it's black and it's super easy to use. It has a long lasting formula. And it is also smudge proof, which is probably my favorite part. Um, I don't wear liquid eyeliner too, too often, but for this look, I just wanted to show you guys how you can kind of take this from day to night. So this liner did come in my glam bag, but sometimes I just do without the liner completely now that I have eyelash extensions. So then I'm just going in with some mascara on my bottom lashes, leaving out the top because as I just said, I do have eyelash extensions, which I have been totally adoring. So shout out to Sandy because she does such a great job. All right, and last but not least, I told you I was going to use another Caudalie product, and that is their Beauty Elixir. This is my absolute favorite, and it just helps to set and lock everything in place. So that is it for this look, you guys. This is what I've been pretty much wearing day to day. I hope you guys like it. Comment below and let me know your thoughts. Thank you to Ipsy and our brand partners for the products in this video. And I want to say again, you guys, remember that makeup is just something fun to play around with and accentuate the beauty that you already have. So continue to be love and light, and I will see you guys again very soon.